Kelly and I've been in anorexia recovery for a few months now. If you follow me on TikTok, which you definitely could, um, you've probably seen this jar before. This is my fear food jar filled with fear foods and food challenges that I know I need to face in order to be fully recovered. If you don't know what a fear food is, it's a food that a person with an eating disorder fears or avoids completely. Not everyone with an eating disorder has fear foods and they can just be so individual from person to person. Lately I've been getting frustrated by how full this jar is and I'm finding new fear foods faster than I can eat them. So today I'll be challenging six fear foods, one at each meal and snack. Feel free to grab something to eat and we can eat together. But with all that being said, we face the jar. On today's menu, we've got ramen, a milkshake, filled biscuit bar, food from the freezer section, a McMuffin, and grapes. I don't know what I was expecting from a day of fear food, but I'm scared. Okay, I'm going to plan up my day a little bit and I will see you at breakfast. At least someone's excited for it. I haven't challenged any of this. I haven't challenged bacon or cheese. I never really challenge sauce one. <laughs> Don't know what I'd rate its um, appearance out of 10. Honestly, I can't really taste the sauce, so I'm kind of hoping they like forgot it. I think they did. That just looks like cheese. I'm eating cheese. I'm eating cheese. The fact that my eating disorder was happy that they forgot the sauce means I should probably challenge that. The new and improved McMuffin. You deserve to add sauce to your food. Breakfast is done, and that was also sauce and cheese and bacon. That probably wasn't quite enough for a full breakfast though. So, I'm gonna go get some wheat fix, probably, because meal plan things and also fueling your body adequately. Breakfast part two. Breakfast is done. I will see you at morning tea. It's morning tea time. I've got a mandarin, a protein bar, and my grapes. Um, kind of just wanted to take the opportunity as I'm sitting down with my grapes to reiterate the fact that eating disorders are not logical, they're not rational, and they simply do not make sense. So I am well aware that grapes are maybe a little bit of a ridiculous thing to be afraid of. My eating disorder doesn't care. So I also don't particularly feel like eating morning tea because I 
I'm not feeling great after breakfast. My brain is not very happy with me. Maybe just because it was later than usual. I'm not super hungry, but you still need to fuel your body. Doesn't matter when you last ate. If you're hungry, even if you're not, if you need to eat, go eat. Honestly, how am I going to be scared of grapes? They're just like a smaller purple mandarin. <laughs> One of the frustrating things about fear foods is you have to eat them over and over and over again until you're not scared of them anymore. You can't expect to just have it once and then be cured. I think I have to have protein bars every day for maybe two weeks before I stopped being so scared of them. If I had had it once and then not had it again, I think I would have gone back to being just as scared of it as I had been before I challenged it. So just keep challenging and it does get easier. Morning tea, done. I'll see you at lunch. It's lunch time. It's chicken nuggets time. I think freezer foods scare me because they kind of feel like takeaway and my brain just equates like fast food with weight gain but that's so silly like nothing bad is going to happen because it has some nuggets for lunch it's just another form of fuel which my body needs and your body needs we all need fuel Nuggets are good. The fact that I actively avoided having it means it's still a fear food. Also, who is having nuggets without sauce anyway? Not me. I've been gaining weight consistently for the last few weeks and earlier this week, I outgrew my favorite pair of jeans, which has kind of contributed to pretty rough body image which in turn makes eating more difficult. But if the only way I can fit into a certain size of clothes is by restricting my food and mistreating my body, then it's not really the right size for me. Honestly, chicken nuggets and chocolate milk is like the perfect lunch. Five-year-old me would have been stoked with this. Lots of people in my comments on one of my TikTok posts was talking about how their family calls um, a clean plate a happy plate. And I love that. So, proud member of the Happy Plate Club. I'll see you at afternoon tea. It is once again time to eat. 
For afternoon tea, I've got a yogurt and my filled biscuit bar. You don't waste any yogurt. You don't waste any anything. Your body needs it all. I think the reason the biscuits scare me is because it's like, you've got the biscuit. You've also got the filling. It's like two in one, which my brain is like, that's so unnecessary. Have the biscuit or just have the filling, but you can't just have the filling. So that doesn't make sense. just fuel. Food's not gonna hurt. That is so good. Oh my gosh. It tastes so good. This is insane. That was such a good afternoon tea. I will see you at dinner. Fifth meal of the day. And this one is kind of a big one. It smells so good. I have always really loved Japanese food. The guilt was really hitting this afternoon, after afternoon tea, and I really was not feeling dinner at all. I wasn't feeling video at all, and I was feeling pretty bad about my body image as well. But the thing is, the sooner I gain weight, the sooner I get to return to normal life. And yes, that might be in a bigger body than I'm in now, but That'll be because it's the body I need to be in. Who even decided that I don't get to eat my favorite foods anymore? Where does anorexia come up with that? That's what I'd like to know. This is banging. And for some reason, I'm not allowed to have it. Um, like, so what if I gain weight? If I'm gaining weight, it's because I need to. I think people underestimate how exhausting recovery is as well because your body is working so hard to keep functioning and to gain weight if you need to and to repair any damage that's been caused it takes such a physical toll but mentally you're constantly fighting this like other half of you and I wish people understood that recovery genuinely is a full-time job you can't just give it 10% of your time and energy. If you want to fully recover, you have to give it more than that. I was dreading that all day and I did it. I almost gave up after afternoon tea. You know, no harm done. Nobody needs to know that I was defeated by ramen, but I would have known. And I don't want to lose to a bowl of soup. Anyways, I'm off for some distraction before the guilt sets in. 
and I will see you at supper. Last meal of the day, we've got the shake. This one is like Neapolitan flavor. Can't for the life of me decide if that means it's like three flavors in one or if it's just one flavor. I'm gonna say that's thick enough. That smells so good. That looks really thick too. That's just like drinking melted ice cream. I don't know why I expected anything different. I actually do really struggle still with liquid calories and feeling like they're a waste, but your body still uses them for energy. So they're not a waste. One thing that's been really helpful for me to keep in mind is that as much as I might feel like it is, Food is not the enemy, your eating disorder is. This food isn't trying to kill you, it's saving you. Your eating disorder is trying to kill you. So it's not you against the food, it should be you against your eating disorder. You and food are on the same side. Or you and your shakes. When you're recovering from an eating disorder, Food legitimately is your medicine. Food is what gets your brain working again and gets your brain to a place where it can fight back against your eating disorder. I just did a whole day of fear foods. Six. In recovery, you don't spend much time feeling proud of yourself. Your eating disorder doesn't let you feel proud of yourself. It just makes you feel bad. But you deserve to feel proud of yourself. Getting your life back is not easy work and nobody can do it for you. I hope this video helped some of you. I hope it even maybe inspired some of you to face some fear foods today. Feel free to like and subscribe if you want to see more. Also follow me on TikTok if you like the challenge videos. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your support and I will see you in my next video.